And now it's time for our regular arts and culture segment. And for that, our Im Yoon Hee joins us live in the studio. Good afternoon to you, Yoon Hee. Good afternoon. You know, we can't uh, seem to get away from this uh, frozen flurry that's just taking over this country. Exactly. It seems like frozen is, frozen is impacting everyone's life in one way or another. Just this past weekend, I must have heard frozen uh, being sung by people at least every day. Enjoyed right. by all ages. Right, right, right. Definitely. I mean, it's really amazing how it also broke the 10 million mark in the cinemas. Exactly. So the only other imported foreign film to have done that is Avatar a few years back. And I don't know if you recall, it left quite the impression here in South Korea. And now Frozen, I believe, is on a whole different level because the books for Frozen are just flying off the shelves. Um, bestsellers, all the charts, uh, the soundtracks and covers of the soundtracks are also maintaining their positions on these charts just week after week. Right, and you know, um, so I'm curious, you know, Frozen is a well-made uh, animation by Disney, mm -hmm. and Korea is, of course, aiming to become one of the leaders in the global animation realm. How does uh, Korean animation fare compared to these? Exactly, so Korean animation is known for being high quality. Uh, where the problem arises, it says that Korean animation is not up there in terms of content, that the content is not applicable to all ages. Now, there are some other reasons why Korean animation has not become as influential as, say, Disney's Frozen. And so let's take a look in this next report. Korea's animation industry is in the midst of becoming one of the world leaders in animation production. With the international success of the Pororo series, Korea's animation industry has been making its presence known in the global market. Along with the popular Penguin, Larva is another Korean animation success. Since its debut in 2011, the short, slapstick humor of two lovable slugs has been making it onto screens worldwide. Geared towards audiences of all ages, the Larva series has become the hope of carrying Korean animation further onto the global market. But there's a problem with the Korean animation industry. Riding on the tail end of the Korean wave, Korean animation is often left with very little resources. There is no security with Korean animation. We have to support many things with our own funds. The money for animation is always decreasing, so the manpower of animation decreases as well. The problem arises with the distribution of funds. 60 to 70 percent of funds designated for Korean television go directly into dramas, and only 10 percent is allotted to Korean animation. The remaining money is used for advertising and marketing of Korean television. The result is a lack of Korean animation in the global market, even though the talent and ability is very much present. In actuality, we need about $30 billion to go into the television fund every year. But even if $30 billion would go into the fund, the government never inquires about the animation part. In Canada and France and other developed countries, Animation is recognized as an influence in the emotional development of children. Therefore, funding for television is often supported. Right now, in Korean broadcasting companies, the content for children is being looked at closely because the broadcasting culture is important to cultivate and develop for the sake of children. The demand for animation in Korea is very clearly present, seen by the response to the recent hit Frozen. South Korea is the biggest market for Frozen outside of the U.S., bringing in over 75 million U.S. dollars. Korean animation has a long way to go until it catches up to some of the heavy hitters from the states, but the potential is there. Well, you know, I am looking forward to Korea's future in the global animation um, realm. And also, I know that uh, a lot of Korean animators have been involved in major global animation projects. Exactly. So, Korean animation is outsourced all over the world, including the U.S. Now, they do want to continue making more animation, Korean animation, in-house from start to finish, uh, like Pororo and Larva, which are excellent examples of Korean animation. So, Definitely much so. to look forward to. Much to look forward to. All right. Thank you for that and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow with other arts and culture news. My pleasure.